In this tutorial, we will see how to enter any value in text box and that value should appear in the form of format. On this sheet, I have a command button. When I click here, I get a user form. We can see two text boxes. In first text box, if I enter ID as 1001, we can see it is there as we enter. Now in password, if I enter ABC, we can see that the format that is being displayed here is in terms of password or in the form of stars. Now if I want to check the original values that we have entered in text boxes, so I'll click on the command button that is show ID and password on user form. We can see that it is displaying the originally entered values that is 1001 as ID and ABC as password. So let me press OK. We can see that same values are captured in cell A1 and B1. To come out of this user form, I'll press this button exit form. So these are the values that we have entered. Let me delete these values. Let me press one more time. And this time I'll add 111 and password as XYZ. Show ID and password. Values we can see when I press OK. Those two values are captured in cell A1 and B1. So let's learn step by step this functionality. So let me open a new Excel file. And let me close the existing file. I don't want to save any changes. So here on the new Excel file, I'll go to developer tab. Then by selecting insert where we have form controls and ActiveX controls, I'll select command button from ActiveX controls. I'll drag a small command button. Then I'll double click on this command button to go to VB editor window. Here we can see that this workbook option is there. On this workbook option, when I right click, then by selecting insert option, I'll go to user form. And we can see a user form is added. By default, when we add user form first time, then name of user form is user form one. We can see a small toolbox is there on left hand side. From this toolbox, I'll add two labels on user form and I'll add two text boxes also. So we have two text boxes, two labels, and now I'll add two command buttons one for exit and one for showing message and transferring values from these two text boxes to Excel sheet. So let me right click on command button one and then select properties. Here caption, I'll change to exit. Then I select second command button and then change the caption as show id and password so the functionality that we want to add for label 2 or password i'll select text box 2 right click go to properties and here in property window i'll scroll down we can see before scroll bar we have password character here i will specify star because I want to see password in the form of stars. So let me close this. Now I'll select level one, then right click, go to properties. Caption, let me write ID. For second level, let me write password. Now I can close this property window. So here we have designed basic user form. Now I'll write VBA code on the backend of
command button 1 which is exit and on the back end of command button 2 that is for showing id and password so i'll double click on first command button and here i can write unload user form 1 user form 1 is the name of user form that we have added now on left hand side i will double click on user form then here on second command button i will double click and showing message as msg box text box 1 this is the name of first text box dot text then ampersand sign or and sign text box to dot text let me close bracket so this will show message now we want to transfer values to excel sheet as well we can see that name of excel sheet is sheet 1 that we can see at bottom so i'll go to vba editor window and here I can write worksheets then name of worksheet that is sheet 1 dot cells for a1 that means row number 1 and column is also 1 dot value equal to text box 1 dot text and to capture value of text box 2 and transferring that on cell B1 here I will just change column as to so row number 1 column 2 so that means cell B1 and value that will be transferred as text box 2 so let me minimize this VBA window. Now on this command button that we have on Excel sheet, I'll double click and here I'll write code as user form one dot show. Now let me minimize this window and I'll click on design mode so that I can come out of design mode and then we can press this command button and bring that user form now when i click on this command button we can see this user form where we can enter id any id and password this time let me give password as xyz when i click this command button we can see that 1001 we entered in first text box xyz we entered in second text box when i press ok we can see both values are also captured in cell a1 and b1 i can press exit button to come out of user form so this is how we can use vba code and some excel knowledge to create this kind of requirement and we can learn basic user form thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel thank you